what is going on guys welcome back to the channel uh in this episode we got something a little different for you and that is because we are going to be building a pole barn uh it's going to be the new home of the uh, channel and yeah it's going to be super awesome and amazing so let's go ahead and uh, take you through a brief run through of what i'm looking to do and what we're going to be having built here on our property here so let's go ahead and dive right into that So for some of you guys that have been following along with the channel, you might have noticed that, hey, I've been working on my garage for a long time. That's been working out really well. Been really happy with that. I got the heater in there, everything. And then just recently, I've been working with Kyle. He's my neighbor and he uh, has a pole barn, a really nice one, 40 by 52 with 16 foot sidewalls, uh, insulated, heated. Man, that thing's awesome. It has the lift in there and got me a little jealous, not gonna lie. And uh, you know what it was about time for uh me to get a uh, new pole barn so uh we are going to be putting one up this spring well not me personally i am paying somebody to do it i don't have the time and don't really want to have to do it so we are going to go ahead and have someone go ahead and put that up for us and uh we're it's it's about beginning of april right now i think it's april 8th right now and this should be up in like a week and a half they said uh and then about another week for uh concrete and it's going to be awesome so i'm going to be building a 40 by 60 pole barn with 16 foot sidewalls with six uh six inch concrete uh three garage doors uh let's go ahead and uh just show you a quick rendering of what it's going to look like so like i said we're pretty much ready to go and uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the property and see where we're going to go ahead and put it. So a lot of you guys know this is the garage I usually work out of when I'm not in Kyle's pole barn. There's the Miata. Uh, here's the Cruise. And there's the Ranger. But uh, where the pole barn's going to be going is where my shed used to be. You can see the new shed is right there. Well, new as in a couple years old. Uh, so that shed we just had moved recently because it was way back here. Uh, so this is the end of my property. I'm kind of walking up the property line right now. I have about two acres here uh, and uh, the shed used to be back here next to this tree. So let's go ahead and walk on back here. Finally, it's, uh, like I said, it's April and the weather just broke and ground is finally greening up everything's looking awesome about ready to start this build i'm so excited so you can see here this is where the shed used to be i uh, moved all the rock moved all the landscaping uh landscaping back there this is my wife's uh windmill that we got to move up to the front and then the only other thing we got to do is take out this tree unfortunately the tree does have to go uh it is going to be in the way but uh luckily that's the only thing that we're gonna have to take out but the center of the pole barn is pretty much going to start right about here. And it's going to span 40 feet from there over to here. We have to have 10 feet offset from the end of the pole barn to the end of the property line. Which is great because that's going to be perfect for a driveway. And then the 60 feet are going to go all the way back here. Right to pretty much the edge of this. Uh, they're going to be doing some... Uh, earth moving today. They're bringing the excavators out today uh, and they're going to be moving all this, getting it nice and flat. Uh, this is going to be where one of the garage doors are right here and then right here and then up front here is where is going to be the uh, 16 footer. Uh, so I got a 16 footer and two 12 footers. So this is going to be the 16 footer up here in the front. So it's going to be amazing once this is all built out but uh i got some of the materials already so back here we got some uh lumber already this is just some uh untreated lumber that i have under a tarp back here hopefully that stayed nice and good it's all banded and bunked and everything so uh, that should be just fine and let's go ahead and take you up front to and this is where my property line goes all the way back to the uh white poles back there so i got one over there and one over there so lots of room still for a lot of other things if i want to so let's go and go back up front show you the trusses 
So here are the trusses. These have been in the yard for about, I don't know, two months now. Just waiting for them to be moved out back. And I think today or tomorrow is when they're gonna be doing that. But uh, yeah, these are 40 foot wide trusses and they're gonna just be huge to go back there. But once they're back there, they're gonna stay and then I'm gonna put them up. This is gonna be, I think where we put, so you can see the windmill back there right now. So this is gonna be where we're gonna put the driveway essentially right up the property line all the way to the back. So, uh, like I said, they're gonna be coming here a little bit later to do some excavating. Uh, this is kind of just the intro, and every day what I'm planning on doing is doing a time lapse of the product, uh, what they get done. And then after they leave, I'm planning on going out there and uh, just taking out a quick review and show you guys and show myself what they got done. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, wait for them to get here. And then once they get here, uh, we'll do the time lapse. Well guys, day one framing progress done. I even moved the trusses back here. Got uh, actually new trusses. These are the correct ones for our township. That was a little bit of a mess, but got that all figured out. And uh, they got some work done. Uh, you can see here that the north and the west wall is both done. Uh, I got a big issue with mud. Uh, this stuff just doesn't drain very well, unfortunately. But I mean, it's looking great back here. Everything's getting filled in. Everything's coming along very nicely. Tomorrow, they're hoping to get trusses up. Hopefully that's the case. I got a few more bushes over here on this right side I need to take out. I took some out the other day, but uh, I mean, it's going well. Uh, but hopefully uh, tomorrow we get a nice, another nice day out here and they just kick some butt and get things done. So uh, we'll go ahead and do the next time lapse here tomorrow. Got two more days complete on this, or two full days, and we now have poles in the ground. We have all the sides on. We have the trusses up. You saw that uh, giant boom truck that came in here. That thing was so necessary. So happy they were able to get that in here and get that done. Uh, and they were able to uh, do a lot of the filling in around the holes. Uh, still a little bit more of that type of stuff that needs to get done but it's looking more like a barn. Uh, they are going to put up the um, uh, purlines, or pur purlines uh, on each one of the trusses next. Sorry for the sun. Uh, they got the two garage doors over there already uh, um, all prepped out. And there's gonna be a man door right there. Two uh, windows over there as well. If we go over here on the south side, 
you can see that the holes are still uh, dug for the, uh, the lean-to or the porch. So they're gonna be building that right off of there. And then they do have to set the rest of those posts. They're gonna hopefully get those posts uh, set here in the next couple days if I had to guess. They do have to uh, dig out one hole that they missed. But I mean, overall, this thing is looking awesome. Really excited for how much progress they have made on it. So 40 by 60, looking great. Uh, we'll keep on continuing the time lapse and uh, keep on going on with this build. It's been a couple days. It's midday on their work shift and it is looking awesome. They uh, got all the post framing up except for the front, like I mentioned. I believe I mentioned before, but they got some of the metal up. They got all the purlines up on the uh, south side. They got some more on the north side to do. But I mean, this is looking awesome. And hopefully we get some more of this metal roofing done today. Uh, this is the bronze. As you can tell over here, I'll show you guys a quick video of the color that we're going with. A little muddy out here, been raining a lot here. This color is awesome. Got a lot of it up there, as you can see. So it's looking really good. I'll go show you the side walls too, over here on the stack. This is the color of the side walls, I believe. It's a light stone, and then the color of the uh, Wayne's coating there is bronze, is same as the roof and the trim and everything like that. So yeah, it's going really well. Uh, hopefully, like I said, they get some more progress done today on that roof, and uh, keep trucking along. So can you continue back with the time lapse?
right, so we are midway done with one of the longer days. It's uh, Wednesday right now, and they're planning on working Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Real late, trying to get this thing wrapped up so that way we can bring concrete in here on Saturday. As you can see, they got the north wall pretty much completely done. Just gotta put soft and fascia up. Let's go ahead and take a look around the backside here where they've been working all today. Making good progress. See, they've been doing a little bit of excavating. Looking good back here. Push some dirt up against the wall. Got the house wrap up on there. Looking awesome. I got a lot of fill that I need to bring in back here, but actually they smoothed it out quite a bit for me, which is amazing. So that way I can go ahead and, uh, you know, I got a driveway back here, I can park cars, plenty of stuff. But uh, it's looking really good back here. Liking the color still. And then I got everything framed up for a lean to, I see. Lean to is looking awesome. Got the two garage doors uh, openings here. And uh, yeah, it's a 30 by 30 by eight porch. So it's gonna have a top on it and stuff like that. Got the two windows that we are putting in right there and right there, all framed in. There'll be a man door right under, right over there on the right corner. It's looking great. Looking really, really, really good. But no, uh, so they're just off for a supply run, some lunch, and uh, hopefully we keep moving on this and uh, hopefully we'll be ready by Saturday. But it's getting way more real as it gets more complete every single day. So let's keep the time lapse rolling. They dropped off 80 yards of sand today, sand fill. And man, that was a lot, but it needed every bit of it because uh, they filled up the barn quite a bit. Uh, I guess there was quite a bit of grading they needed to do and uh, kind of filling up the difference. But once we got back here, you could see that all that sand that was dumped today there's four dump trucks full, 20 yards a piece. It sure did fill it up. He does have another uh, dump truck coming tomorrow, 10 yards for him and 10 yards for me. Uh, hopefully I can keep the 10 yards because he needs some of it for the lean-to that is coming along just nicely. You can see right here, it's getting built out very well. Uh, gotta get the roof on tomorrow and he said tomorrow is a lot of metal so a lot of metal will make this barn just come together and look so much nicer but everything's looking really good uh, so we got the barn metal tomorrow uh, I guess he has his uh, concrete guy coming out he's gonna be compacting all of this out here so this is all just very loose so hopefully it's compacted nice and well and all uh, gonna look out, look great. But I mean, it's, it's turning out very nicely. 
Uh, I'm gonna really like that lean-to, I think. Got those two windows. Uh, it's gonna look awesome. But uh, we'll go ahead and wait till the morning, do another time lapse, and we'll probably show you what they got done at the end there. It's been a couple weeks and uh, got some good progress done. A few issues here and there, but overall going pretty swell. Got a window here in the front left. Got most of the south wall done here. Uh, waiting for windows there with the lean to roof, but might be some of the last finishing touches. Otherwise, than that, I mean, it's looking pretty darn good. Uh, got one of the garage doors framed out over here. Got the front garage door framed out with wood, but. Uh, waiting for the other framing over here until they uh, complete that back I know they're waiting on one panel I believe one of the panels uh, were longer and I think they just didn't get that yet but you can see it's pretty much complete back there and they still need a complete soffit facial and stuff like that but I mean it's looking really really good uh, a lot of good progress here 
North wall, you saw that. It's complete pretty much the perfection off it. It's off it. But uh, good progress. We're just gonna kind of keep the time lapse going here and uh, hopefully see this done by the end of the week.
Well, it's been a few months now, but the pole barn has been done for that amount of time and it is looking amazing. Uh, I've been really enjoying it, getting some of the landscaping done outside and a few finishing touches on it here and there. But uh, yeah, it's been very, very nice uh, with also the excavating that we've been doing around it. It's a lot more that needs to be done, especially with the little runoff down here. Uh, but I wanted to take you on a little tour. You can see that I got electrical put in uh, here on the north side. We got two windows, a 16 foot garage door that has been mentioned. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over here to the lean to side on the south. It's cold out here, it's like 30 degrees. But uh, got the porch all done, cement, and everything like that. Security cameras put in. Uh, go ahead and hit the keypad here. Come on inside. Been working on electrical here and there. Uh, that's been a slow process, but at least I can see. I got lights. We got some outlets here and there. Uh, got some music. Also, you know, filling it up just like everybody else does as they are working on things. Currently uh, got the Miata in here. That thing's still looking good. So much fun to drive. Also got the Ranger. Got a flat tire on it, but we'll take care of it. And then a lot of my other tools and engines and things like that that I work on that just been taking up space in the garage, but now out here. This is a new toolbox that Kyle got for me. Kyle uh, hooked me up with that and uh, working on filling it at the moment. Got the boat back there. Uh, got the tracks over here. Actually working on selling that here in a little bit, but uh, also got a Ford Focus. This Ford Focus right now, finishing up some repairs on it. You can see that it was in a front end collision, uh, but we uh, just working on swapping out some parts. Got. The new hood over here for it on top of the trailer but uh back to focusing on the pole barn which is what we're supposed to be doing here you could probably catch some of these uh cars in future videos but uh i mean these are the two garage doors over here those are the uh, uh 14 foot or sorry 12 by 14 uh garage doors i've been using both of them pretty regularly and then uh obviously got the man door over there power uh, coming in from the north side and such. But I also have a uh, Amazon Dot out here, which is great for my music. Uh, kind of just got it plugged in over on the wall. But uh, just kind of finishing things out. I got all the time in the world now. The next few things that I really want to get done is insulation in here and a heater. Like I said, it's 30 some degrees out right now and it's kind of chilly. I uh, haven't really noticed any air gaps or anything like that. Maybe one here or there. Like, I think I got one right here on the end of the uh, lean-to and then also one over here in the corner. Uh, but otherwise than that, nothing terrible. I mean, it's been sealed up pretty tight, and I've been very, pretty happy with it. But uh, let's go ahead and go outside in the wind again and uh, take a look around back. I'm planning on putting a lift, by the way, over there. And also a uh, um, I'm planning on putting a lift over there on the north side and then also a uh, loft over there in the corner. Uh, hoping to do that maybe sometime this year uh, or next year. But that's not the highest priority as I can work on cars still, so pretty young, I don't mind getting down on the ground, but we'll get there. But yeah, let's go ahead and go back outside here. So going back here out on the south side, a little bit of wood left over here. Uh, my neighbor has a uh, bobcat, so he was able to do a lot of the excavating for me. Uh, a lot of crushed gravel, a lot of sand, a lot of dirt. Uh, so, got all that, and then we'll just go ahead and go out on the west side here. Like I said, sorry for all the wind, but uh, that's just my drive on the back. Still got a little bit more dirt I would love to bring in, but uh, just working on getting the most necessary things done right now. 
But yeah, I mean, this is a pole barn. I've really, really been enjoying it and uh, really looking forward to using it for the rest of the time that we're here at the property, probably my rest of my life. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I've been really, really liking it. And hopefully this time lapse have been helpful with you uh, guys watching it, maybe you guys getting your pole bar done uh, here in the future. But yeah, the uh, it's going to be opening up a lot of good opportunities for me. So uh, please make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also check out my other videos, but uh, until next time, and also next time we're in the pole barn, uh, we'll see you guys later.